It's Drake in his stupid muscular astronaut outfit. For a few more weeks, the hip hop community will likely be reeling from Kendrick Lamar's cameo verse criticizing Drake and J. Cole on future and Metro Boomins like that from their new album We Don't Trust You. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. I hate these phony friendships. <laughs> Enough of this! In addition, a lot of people are picking sides over which team Kendrick, Aubrey, or Cole are on and who is winning. However, a lot of others, including the Joe Budden podcast, are just happy to see the competitive aspect of rap return to the forefront of the genre. I've read it before I heard it. It wasn't impressive upon the read. This poem was the topic of discussion between the Slaughterhouse MC and his co-hosts on the most recent episode of the show. J. Cole, this is your time right here to show all that shit you've been saying. An extremely detailed conversation covering a wide range of subjects from all of the participating podcasters. One noteworthy point, which Joe Budden has emphasized the most, is that this is ending the fake aspect of hip-hop relationship something Kendrick Lamar brought up in relation to Drake and J. Cole's current collaboration. You say, do you think there's anything to this verse being this way and him not being on TV. Yes. yes. Budden mentioned that, in spite of his relationship with Drizzy, Travis Scott had invited Future and Metro Boomin to perform like that at Rolling Loud Los Angeles. All in all, they enjoyed watching the Compton creative toss hands and take off the gloves. Naturally, the Joe Budden podcast also dissected the Like That versus bars and contrasted them with J. Cole and Drake's first-person shooter verses. It's easy to understand what could have set Kendrick Lamar off, and it won't take long for the Dreamville CEO to reply, if the dots are connected. This ain't enough for what Cole been doing. It ain't. This yeah. is not enough. Is not this raises additional questions because, according to the most recent rankings, Joe Budden had Cole ranked above Kendrick and the boy. No, no, this no. don't move Cole from the top of the food chain it for me. Nowhere near it. However, as he made clear in this most recent episode, he's delighted that Mr. Morale chose to refute that assertion. That's right, Cole and Drake. To be now. They can't take the high road. Mm. The Kendrick Lamar cameo on Like That from Future and Metro Boomin's new collaborative album We Don't Trust You is rapidly emerging as one of the year's most significant musical moments to date. Cole's the one that really need to jump out because you said you was Muhammad Ali and you got an no, album coming out. What? In it, he criticizes J. Cole and Drake, the other two members of hip-hop's ostensible big three for the decade of the 2010. However, the Compton lyricist claims to be the only one in the game, and he's challenging Drizzy and Cole to take things seriously with a ton of sardonic references and deft wordplay. Big Sean dropped the new record today called Precision, but I feel Not like- Not right now, Sean. As evidenced by Charlemagne the God's apt answer to the verse on the most recent edition of The Breakfast Club, many people are frothing at the mouth to respond. Interestingly enough, in the process, he left Big Sean with some smoke. This is what always happens to you, Sean. You always get lost in the sauce Let of the big three. You know what, though? There was a couple of years, Sean was lyrically better than a lot of them. I was saying that. Sean was really, really lyrically in his bag. He still is. Sneak this at first person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. Although Kendrick Lamar's appearance left little room for interpretation, Future and Metro Boomin's new collaboration album We Don't Trust You has already generated a lot of conversation regarding who is dissing whom. Unlike that, the hitmaker makes fun of both Drake and J. Cole. As a result, the video has gone viral. Motherfuck the big three, nigga, it's just big me. Social media detectives have uncovered a video of J. Cole discussing Metro Boomin in a vlog from last month. Metro, same shit, I, I was in the studio the other night. And having nothing but positive things to say about him, amidst the uproar from the diss. He was in there cooking up, I seen him cooking up, and it's just like, Ch -ch -ch. He says in the clip. Everything is just confident steps, you're not judging it, you're not thinking about it. Some fans believe J. Cole ought to respond, while others believe Kendrick's bars were really directed at Drake and J. Cole was just the incidental target. But nigga, number one fan, dog. Sneak, this is known, understand, dog. Fans aren't thrilled either way, and they're still debating which rapper is the true great of all time. Not only was Kendrick Lamar making fun of Drake on the new album, but Future also seemed to be targeting the artist on the album's lead single. A particular one concerns Megan the Stallion from Type Shit. That's some thick shit. I just thought you knew type shit. That's some thick shit. I just thought you knew type shit. He spits on the cut. However, a lot of fans are split on how to interpret this. First off, some fans think Future is talking about hanging out with numerous women because he says he's with women by the group, including Megan Thee Stallion, who is very attractive and powerful. His reference to that some thick shit, a term the Houston Femsey has previously used, further supports this. It's also crucial to remember that they were once partners, having collaborated on the song Pressure Alicious from Meg's Traumanized project from 2022. However, other fans believe that this alludes to Fuch running a train on a woman with Megan's level of attractiveness in order to take women down. It's also a difficult issue to judge, however based on their past, 
and the context of all the reference lines in this instance, we believe that this was a shout-out rather than a disparaging remark. Ultimately, there are a lot more explicit and blunt topics to discuss on We Don't Trust You. You most likely already freaked out when Kendrick Lamar appeared on Future and Metro Boomin's song like that. We're still reliving the amazing moment that was his disdain for the other big three members and his unwavering enthusiasm. In a new verse on Future and Metro Boomin's most recent album, Kendrick Lamar disparaged Drake and J. Cole. On Friday, March 22nd, the Atlanta rapper and his regular producer released their joint album We Don't Trust You. Among the songs on the album is Like That, which features an unexpected Kendrick feature. Throughout his stanza, the former TDE rapper makes several jabs. He begins by bringing up Drizzy and Cole's number one song, First Person Shooter, and accusing them of sneak dissin. Get up with me, fuck sneak dissin, first person shooter, I hope they came with three switches. He raps. Then, Kendrick Lamar makes a clear allusion to the big three, which are J. Cole, Drake, and him, asserting that he is the only one at the top of the rap hierarchy. Think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD, motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. Love when they argue the hardest MC. In October's first person shooter, J. Cole referenced Kendrick Lamar and the big three, but he really won it when he compared himself to the legendary Muhammad Ali. Is it K. Dot? Is it Aubrey or me? We the big three like we started a league. But right now, I feel like Muhammad Ali. He rapped. Drake, on the other side, disparaged Kendrick by saying that only he and Cole are the greatest of all time. Who the goat? Who you bitches really rooting for? Like, like a kid that act bad from January to November. Nigga, it's just you and Cole. Biggest That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly, subscribe. See you.